Valentino Rossi is the only rider to win the championship with an independent team. What's an independent team? What are the teams in MotoGP? In the 2023 MotoGP Championship, we have 10 teams. 5 factory teams and 5 independent teams. What is the difference between factory team and independent or satellite team? Factory teams are the teams that are funded by the manufacturers who manufacture the motorcycle. Teams like Repsol Honda, Red Bull KTM, Monster Energy Yamaha, Lenovo Ducati and Aprilia Racing. These teams are funded by manufacturers in a game of outdoing each other. Every factory team gets to develop and test the latest equipment. They also have access to the latest engineers and latest technology. This gives them an upper hand over the independent teams. Independent teams are also known as satellite teams. These teams do not manufacture their own motorcycles but lease or buy motorcycles from the factory teams. Independent teams are not funded by the manufacturers but receive certain amount of support from the factory. These teams are run by ex-racers and private companies. There is no fixed way on how the relationship of a factory and an independent team work but if you follow the simple rule that independent teams use the older machinery of factory teams, you can never go wrong. Then how is this fair racing? In the earlier years, it felt like watching two different races. But Dorna Sports, the organizer of MotoGP, has introduced a unified software rule and has also requested factory teams to share the latest machinery with the independent teams, making racing between the two even closer. Apart from this, the independent teams have certain concessions. They can use 9 engines versus the 7 of the factory. They have unlimited testing days and have 6 wildcard riders versus the 3 of the factory. Each team consists of 2 riders, 1 team principal, 2 crew chiefs and various engineers, data analysts and other personnel. To have smooth coordination between the riders, the team principal and crew chief plan a race by race strategy to ensure the best rider wins and the team score maximum points. When a rider finishes between 1st and 15th, he scores a certain amount of points. When both riders score points, the sum of their points go towards the team championship. There have been instances where both riders of the same team have been bitter rivals. Rossi and Lorenzo have been teammates at the factory Yamaha squad but yet have been bitter rivals. Their head-to-head -head battles have been legendary and have kept fans entertained for 7 seasons. Teams like Ducati, Aprilia, Honda and KTM use V4 configuration engines while Yamaha is the only manufacturer that is still using the inline 4 configuration. Each engine has its own advantages and disadvantages. However, the European V4s have been dominating and the inline 4 is starting to show its age. This season, the Japanese manufacturers have been struggling to keep up with the European manufacturers not just in the engine department but also with aerodynamics. How does this place the riders then? All MotoGP riders are extremely skilled. The strengths and weaknesses of the machinery affect their performances but this season, many factory riders have been outdone by independent riders. The Pramac Racing Team is leading the team's championship. Surprise? Wait, there's more. The Repsol Honda team sits at the bottom of the team's championship. The Pramac Racing Team or the VR46 team are my two favourites for this season's team's championship as the Ducati second rider Anaya Bestinini has been injured for the first half of the season and has been struggling to finish races now. Which team are you supporting? Do let us know in the comment section and do follow us for more MotoGP content. Till then, ride safe and see you in the next episode.